Okay, now that I got the glue all set up on the fuselage, I'm going to um, install this uh, carbon fiber rod, which is for the antenna. The one that comes for the kit is the little white plastic one, but I bought these carbon fiber ones, which are lighter and a little bit stiffer. And I'm just going to glue that right in place. Okay, I got that glued in place, uh, nice and uh, nice and solid with some um, medium thick CA, and it's set up really quick against that carbon fiber, so we should be good to go. Okay, instead of using this little uh, tiny rudder that comes with uh, the kit, uh, I cut this out and I made this little um, this other rudder instead, which just made it a balsa, just uh, you know, a balsa like this, just basic uh, aileron stock type balsa. Cut it down and shaped it to the shape that it wanted. Uh, obviously, make an angle here so that the elevator can go up and down. And this will give me a little bit more rudder control. And then I just covered it with some um, ultra coat, mono coat, whatever you got. And, uh, and then I'm going to use some um, CA hinges. And hopefully that will work. Just hinge that right in there. Okay, as you can see here, I skipped kind of ahead a couple of steps. As you can see, I got the fuselage all glued together. This is still drying right here where the motor is. Um, that should actually be doing pretty good by now. Um, I went ahead and installed the, um, the stab and the, um, and the rudder and the elevator and everything like that all together. This is my uh, rudder modification where I made my, my fancy dancy rudder. Put my own server horn in there. On the uh, elevator, I just used the servo horn that came with it. it. Seemed to look pretty good as far as the connections and stuff. I just followed the instructions as far as uh, gluing um, gluing these two pieces together, and then um, getting ready to. And then we glue the the whole unit uh, back onto the uh, back onto the fuselage itself, and that's all that's all done. So um, you just follow the instructions with that, and that works pretty good. Um, you can either just use the regular rudder or make a modification like I did. And I just used a couple of these, um, these are just a Radio South uh, servo, I mean, I'm sorry, um, uh, CA hinges. Then they just glue one of those, those are on there solid. Okay, so the next thing I'm getting ready to do is um, at this point I've installed my radio. Got my radio inside there. I, I ran the wires through on each side. I set them up. I went through my radio. And made sure that um, you know they're in a, their neutral position is correct, and that they're going in the right direction, um, so that I can start setting up to put my uh, my lines in there to hook up to my servos. So that's where I'm at right now. The big difference that I'm doing versus what other people do that get the kit is I'm using this um, carbon fiber um, tubing here instead of the the little white tubing that comes with the kit. I'm hoping it's going to make the uh, fuselage. A lot more sturdy by putting this in here instead. The problem with uh, with doing that is that on the rudder side, it, it bends. It has to bend as it goes across. So what I did is I don't know if you can see this one. I cut some cut some notches. Let's see if you can see that. I cut some notches into the uh, into this uh, carbon fiber tube so that when I got to right here, it bends right here to go up to the. Um, go up to the rudder, and by doing that, by putting those notches in there, it allow it allow the carbon fiber to bed, which you know is really rigid, so unless you put some, some notches in there, I'd never get that uh, carbon fiber to work like that. So, anyway, that's the plan. Um, we'll see how that works out. Uh, anyways, and anyway, I'm just going to start moving on now to my next step, which is uh, getting the servos all glued in. Okay, the servos glued in, which I think I'm just going to use goop right here. There's a little bit of goop in there. Glue those down, connect all my connecting rods, and see how she goes from there. Okay, see you back in a little bit. Okay, I got a couple things done since the last time. I'll get ready to put the um, glue the little uh, spars in here that hold the um, carbon fiber pipe. I've coated this side with a little Instaset and letting that dry for a little bit. I've uh, attached the prop, which just goes along with whatever prop and uh, whatever uh, motor that you select. Get that. I went and checked in the radio to make sure that everything is going forward. I've uh, glued in the um, 
I've glued in the servos and I've actually got my a couple of my son's Legos to help put a little pressure on those with a little bit of um, goop to, to hold those in place so that's doing that I got my carbon fiber rods on uh, both sides of the plane here so I got the carbon fiber rod here mounted the hardware through there onto the onto the uh, under the elevator leaves enough room up here so it has enough slack in there to, to do that again did the same thing over here for the rudder you can see over here where I've got my uh, little cuts and the carbon fiber to be able to make that bend to get up the rudder we'll see how that works who knows maybe, maybe it won't be that great but I'm hoping it gives it a lot of rigidity to the, to the fuselage I mean this thing is like a rock both uh, because of the carbon fiber on the bottom and then the two carbon fibers on the side make this thing really rigid and solid so hopefully that's going to work I got uh, my 2.4 gigahertz radio installed in here and I got my fancy little antenna tube to keep it at uh, 90 degrees this is just something I had in my T-Rex 500 that I adapted over to work um, to work on my plane charging up the batteries right now and all I need to do is uh, set my trims up get it all Set ready to go, finish charging the battery, and we'll give it a test flight, see how it goes. Okay, just going over the last couple of finishing touches I did to the plane. Flown it a bunch of times right now, got to, got it all balanced out, flying great now. Um, just going to go over a couple of uh, things that I changed on it. Again, um, I got all the uh, carbon fiber uh, push rods all set up in there, nice and set. The, the rudder worked out great, it's a nice nice wide rudder system here and that worked out awesome um, I used a little bit different uh, control horns uh, than the ones that came in the set but the one on the bottom I actually used a, a control horn that comes in the set um, one of the other things I did was put carbon fiber um, rods here I kind of glued them in I made a notch with a Dremel tool and then a CA them in place and that's giving the uh, front of the structure a lot more strength. So if you have a little impact in the front of the plane, it will, um, I've seen on, on video, other videos that people seem to crack them right across here. So I got these struts on either side that support that. This one obviously just goes down the middle. Again, that's carbon fiber. The tail is like a rock because I've got the one, uh, two, and then three pieces of carbon fiber there um, of uh, tubing. And that's in work out really solid. I just put a little tape on the bottom here uh, for landing so it didn't mess up the styrofoam too much. I probably should come up with something that looks a little bit better than that. Um, and one other thing I did since the last time I had it on video, take the legs apart. Whoops, that was smart. Okay, so what I've done is I've gotten and I've put in um, these little magnets right here. I got magnets embedded into the styrofoam, and then that way when and you go to put it together, it snacks. And it, it's, it's hard for it to come apart. You have to really, you have to actually have to turn it to get it to come apart. So, um, so basically, I go like that, and then boom, and boom, it pops in together. Works great. They're just small little magnets, but um, I guess they're supposed to use Velcro that comes in the kit, but uh, I kind of like that. I'm doing it with the, uh, the snap-on. One other thing I did do, was and if you look inside the airplane here, you can see. Here I should really move this down a little bit. Oops. Okay, here. As you can see inside the airplane here, um, I get the battery pushed way back near up here because I've been flying it with my uh, GoPro camera, and I'll show you how the GoPro hooks on to my new. Uh, GoPro HD camera, which is really nice, uh, works great. I got it set up on this little thing, so all I gotta do is just click this out in here like that. It mounts right on there, and um, as you can see, it looks like that. So it looks like from the side, and uh, it works great. The video it takes is fantastic. But I put that on there, which which put a lot of forward weight up here. So to uh, compensate for that, I had to slide the battery way back. I used to have the battery way up here, 
that's what's great about creating that slot when you're when you're building the plane, so that when I have a piece of Velcro down there, I can just put the put the battery wherever I want, slide it back and forth, and change the uh, center of gravity each time I fly. And even if I just move the camera, sometimes I'll you know I'll fly with it like this to get a little bit different angle, and I actually have to change uh, the position of the battery to uh, to make it work. But uh, eventually, I end up I end up putting on an FPV system up here. But this is about a similar weight as a whole FPV system. And we'll see how that works. I just want to kind of see what it was like with the extra weight. And uh, I guess that's about it. Um, it has flown great. All right, now I got the radio up front now. I got the radio way up front now. I'm not sure how that's going to affect uh, things when I put the FPV system on. So, um, and that's it. That's the full build of the um, Easy Star. See you next time. Okay, this video uh, that you're going to see is uh, shooting well, with the uh, GoPro uh, HD camera and I'm flying at FPV uh, through the uh, KX91 camera uh, right beside it. So actually um, it's just two cameras uh, mounted on this um, the pod, the camera pod from uh, ReadyMade RC. I just um, changed the uh, setup for mounting the camera so it could hold two cameras side by side. Uh, everything else is the same. I took out the uh, the battery that powers the the video, uh, the camera, the uh, KX91, 191, and the uh, the transmitter, and plugged that straight into the uh, the power. So just uh, plugged it off of there to be able to save some weight. I had to put a little bit of tail weight in to be able to um, compensate for the extra weight up front, but it wasn't wasn't very much. So um, I had to put a little bit of uh, wing weight on the on the left wing here. I'm sorry, the right wing, um, just make sure that was balanced side by side. So anyways, it flew, uh, flew pretty good and the video is uh, amazing compared to the video uh, that you get through uh, recorded on the um, KX191. Uh, so check it out.